Greetings, TensorFlow enthusiasts. I'm Paige Bailey for The Developer Show, and I'm at the TensorFlow Dev Summit, where members of the TensorFlow engineering team just shared major release announcements with the world. This past year has been a busy one for the TensorFlow team. We've launched courses on Udacity and Deep Learning AI. We released many new products like TensorFlow Graphics, MLIR, and TF Enterprise. And we got to meet so many of you at events like the TensorFlow Roadshows, TensorFlow Doc Sprints, Google Summer of Code, and Google Code In. This year is shaping up to be just as exciting. And now, without further ado, the TensorFlow Dev Summit Top 5. First up, the release of TensorFlow 2.2. We launched TF2.0 last year to very positive feedback from the community. As a recap, we've also added TPU and multi-worker GPU support as part of TF2.1. You can now scale from single-node multi-GPU to multi-node multi-GPU to TPU pods with just a single line code change. We've also been excited to see the amazing libraries that you've built with TensorFlow 2.x and the speed at which developers are migrating their existing tools but we heard your feedback loud and clear. TensorFlow 2 was fast, but you wanted it to be even faster and to have tools to better understand your performance. That's why TensorFlow 2.2 was created with an emphasis on performance, compatibility, and stability. We're building on the momentum from last year and have many improvements underway, including a rewrite of TensorFlow's internals into C++ to make it even faster. We're also creating a NumPy-like eager core and including all the low-level operations you need as part of TF Raw Ops. We're also excited to release a performance analysis framework that lets you inspect and intuitively visualize the execution timeline of accelerators like GPUs, TPUs, and more. It has low overhead, so on GPUs, typically about 2% overhead when profiling or tracing, and it's highly customizable profile when you want, select duration, and desired performance counters. Simply add a build dependency and you're good to go. Be sure to share your visualizations on social media with the hashtag PoweredByTF. Coming in at number three, we're expanding the way students and researchers can get involved in the TensorFlow community. Everything from Google Summer of Code, applications open on March 16th, and credits for TPUs as part of TF Research Cloud. There's so many ways for TensorFlow to help you with your academic work. We know that machine learning is a powerful way to solve challenging real world problems. However, machine learning and AI raise many questions around the best approach to building a system that is both inclusive and secure. That's why number four on our list is TensorFlow's suite of responsible AI tools. For example, fairness indicators can help you evaluate simple but critical fairness metrics across thresholds of models. The What If tool, directly integrated into TensorBoard, can help with interpretability, providing a rationale for why a prediction was made using textual and visual components of the data. And TensorFlow Federated, now updated for TensorFlow 2, is a library that helps with training data on device. We're excited to work on this important part of the TensorFlow ecosystem with all of you, the TensorFlow community. Number five on our list, you can share your work with the broader TensorFlow ecosystem and get recognized for your contributions. First up, we're announcing the Responsible AI Dev Post Challenge, which gives you the ability to use the machine learning fairness tools I just mentioned to create equitable AI models. We're delighted to announce that Kaggle competitions now support TensorFlow 2.2 and TPUs. Be sure to check out the new kernels and try migrating code from CPU to GPU to TPU. For all the announcements and updates from the TensorFlow Dev Summit, make sure to check out the links in the description below. I'm Paige Bailey for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching. <laughs>